What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mouth. Coming at y'all to show y'all my hair. Now, I know a lot of y'all probably anxious to see what my hair looks like. It's been a while since I showed my hair on camera. Um, y'all gonna have to excuse me today. Let me first say that because some days I feel great. Some days I feel not so great. And this one of those days where I don't feel so good. But anyways, I'm gonna come at y'all and show y'all my hair since I have it. I not braided up let's just say because i went to, i went out this weekend to a party um if y'all follow me on instagram and facebook y'all should have seen my picture by now that i posted um i probably um of an outfit that i actually made for me and both my husband as well um i will post the picture maybe in this video maybe to a 70s party and I had my hair in a mohawk but anyways besides the point since um I did use some of my real hair in in that hairstyle when I had the mohawk I'm going to come to y'all today since I got my hair down because normally I never ever 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 have my hair down ever since my hair started falling out and all that stuff and I'm going to show y'all what my hair looks like today um I did suffer from a lot of hair breakage. First off, let me show y'all this. This is just some of the hair that I lost um, throughout, you know, my journey. This is just some of the hair. I, I kept some just, oh God, just to keep some hair. Uh, just to keep track of, you know, my hair fall or whatever. That's just some of it. And, but that's a whole lot actually my hair was falling out by the handfuls every day a lot of people asked before I before I show any of my hair that I um, big chop and the answer is no I have not big chopped my hair oh, did my hair go completely bald no my hair did not completely fall out it just shed excessively a lot of people ask um because I did answer that question in one of my other videos, you know, typing it in. And they asked, why did your hair not go completely bald? And the reason why my hair did not go completely bald is the, from chemotherapy is because of the chemo, the type of chemo that I received. The name of the chemo that I received was called cis, cisplatin. Um, and it does not make your hair bald like a lot of other chemo medication does for a lot of other cancer patients so i was fortunate enough not to lose my entire head of hair um a lot of people ask me am i gonna go natural um we gonna leave that to the birds and the bees but right now we we just gonna say no but i don't because i know a lot of y'all feedback is just gonna be oh uh, you know i ain't even here for it but anyways what i came on here to do was um Matter of fact, I'll do that in my relax a tag video because I got a relax a tag video coming up for you guys to see. I'm going to be recording more and more no matter how I feel. I need to get off my butt and just do something so it probably make me feel better if I record. Rather than just laying around, waddling around in sadness or whatever the case may be. Okay, so first and foremost, let me show y'all my hair. Um... First off, let me show y'all this bun that I made. Okay, because a lot of y'all said my bun was cute on my last video. Thank you, guys. Okay, so here's my hair. This is just my hair in three uh, twists, bantu, imitation bantu knots or whatever. So I'm going to turn around and show y'all that back of my hair. Uh, my hair has grown out significantly. Yes, my hair looks, my hair is 50, 60, 75, I don't know how many percentage thinner it is versus before, but it is thinner. Um, that's something that I could not control, my hair shedding, but hey, I am still text laxed. My last text lax was 
um, I had, I was not text laxing my hair, relaxing my hair through this whole journey. I just recently text laxed my hair a couple weeks ago because I could not comb it through the roots, which I still probably can't because I didn't leave it on that long. But needless to say, let me show you my hair. Um, this is what my hair looks like when I take my twist out. I know a lot of y'all going to say, oh, it's so thin. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> I felt like I had to say that. But it's not as thin as it looks here because I'm going to go um, shampoo it for y'all and condition it. Um, let, me, let me see if I can answer this question. Is your hair still shedding? No, my hair is not still shedding. Your my regular shed, yes, like your any other fifty to hundred strands a day type situation, yes, my hair does does still do that. But a thousand strands a day, no, it's not doing that. And what stopped my hair from shedding? We'll discuss that in another video. Okay, so those are the two parts that are taken loose in this section right here. Okay, so that's what my hair looks like now. Now I did suffer a lot of a lot of hair loss directly from my scalp. I will insert before and after photos in this clip if you have not seen my scalp pictures yet. Okay, I'm gonna insert them right now. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like before I wash it. Mind you, it's full of product. Um, and I'm going to go do a wash with my shampoo, deep condition. And I'm also going to do a protein treatment because I'm getting ready to break my hair back up in a protective style and just keep it that way. So I will be back when I'm done washing my hair to show you guys what my hair actually looks like when it's washed Okay, y'all, so I am back. I just got done shampooing my hair. And I, the way I shampoo my hair is in sections. I used to do it braided up. You know, if y'all been following me for a while, y'all know I was doing it, like trying to braid it up shampoo thing. But since it's freshly relaxed, uh, Texlax, um, I just did it in four sections because it's easy, it's easy to get through, you know. And plus it's thinner, so... This is what it looks like. I am now letting the shampoo sit on my head for like five minutes. And then I'm going to go rinse it out. And then I'm going to go do a, a deep condition and also a protein condition at the same time. Um, this is what I do my proteins with. Um, originals. Africa's Best Originals Hair Mayonnaise. This is kind of just like the ORS. Uh protein treatment except this is like three dollars and some versus ten dollars and some with the ors um because i'm not about that life when it do the same thing and this is my deep conditioner that i'm going to be using i only got a little bit left in here so since i only got a little bit i'm just going to use all of this and mix it with that together to balance out my moisture and my protein before i breathe it up so now when i get done doing my deep conditioner I'm going to deep condition my hair for 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, y'all. So, now I've gotten all the shampoo out of my hair. I'm going to go ahead and do my deep condition. And my deep condition consists of the the Profective Mega Growth Deep Conditioner, like I said before. And my Organics hair mayonnaise and this is going to be like a protein treatment because i mix both of them together now there was only a little bit of deep conditioner left in here this is a moisturizing deep conditioner and the other one is a protein so i just put some of the protein conditioner in here and i shook it up so i'm going to be using them mixed together normally i don't do that but it don't matter either way it go you know as long as i'm getting the protein in there and i'm just gonna go go from my roots I just, I don't part it like I've seen some people put it in like they're applying a relaxer. That's a waste of my time. Why? You know, when I can just get my whole hand and dig it in there, you know, they be having like the little relaxer comb. <sighs> For what? You know, you can just, just bust it open and put it in. I'm knocking stuff down, but just put it in there, okay? It don't have to be perfect. 
as long as it's in there. You can feel it when it's in there. And that's pretty much how I'm going to do each section. And now that I've gotten it on the new growth area, I'm just going to go through and bring it all the way to my ends. And it's really that simple. Just make sure it's in there. I can feel it in there. Really good. And I'm just going to turn around and show y'all what my hair look like in the back. And that's what I'm going to do to each section. And I'm going to put it up. However it can stay up. Ain't, ain't no particular method to putting it up. Since it got a deep conditioner on it, it's pretty much going to stick up there by itself. So, I'm just going to leave it up like that and I'm going to do each section the same. Also, I'm done with adding my deep conditioner and my protein treatment um, on my entire head. I used the whole jar. Now, I can throw this away or save this to mix something else up in or mix something out of a child. I am the DIY queen right here. But anyways, y'all, guess what? Remember when I first opened the video and I said that this is one of those days that I didn't feel so good? Um, actually, I feel better already just by recording and talking to the camera. You feel me? So, maybe I might start doing more videos so I can just have, you know, for therapy for myself to feel better just by talking to somebody. So, but anyways, besides the point, here is my hair, all deep conditioned. And I'm going to put my plastic bag on. Y'all know I usually have the, the grocery bags. But my hair is thin enough now to fit under here. And I am going to go sit under my blow dryer, my hooded blow dryer, for an hour. I'm just going to give it a good solid hour. And... Let this sit in. Also, here is my hair after I have deep conditioned it. And I rinsed out all of the protein treatment in the deep conditioner. Um, and it is just towel dried. So now, let me mention again, this is freshly Texlax hair. Um, I Texlax my hair exactly two weeks ago yesterday. So... Today is Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. So, two weeks before that. I forgot a date. I put a date down here. So, anyways. Um, this is my hair. It's way thinner than it used to be. But it's not as thin as some others' hair I've seen. But anyway. I did my condition. So, I'm going to put a leave-in condition in it now. And I use the Cream of Nature Argan Oil leave-in conditioner get this from walmart and this says look good feel better i bought that you know i like that because it says helping women with cancer and it also has the american cancer society and some other kind of beauty i think on there i can't see whatever it's too small but i'm gonna shake this up you have to shake it up to activate it and i'm just gonna spray my hair with it try not to make it too wet because I want to blow dry it. I'm going to blow dry it. And, um. I'm going to blow dry it. And I don't want it to be too wet when I blow dry it. You know? I don't want it to be too wet. So, get all that. Massage it up in there. Make sure I get those in. All of that with some conditioner on it. Rub it through. And then I'm going to go and blow dry it. Okay, y'all. So my hair is completely blow dried. And I use to blow... Sorry, but to blow dry my hair, I use this Silk Elements uh, Mega Silk Heat Protective Spray before I put it, uh, before I blow dry it. Y'all know I already used this leave-in conditioner by the uh, Cream of Nature Argan Oil. Then when I went in there to blow dry it, I used Silk Elements 
uh, heat protectant. So my hair is fully blow dried. And y'all, when I blow dry my hair, I don't let the blow dryer touch my hair. I kind of blow dry my hair from a distance. I'm like literally a foot and a half to two feet away from the blow dryer because my blow dryer sits in a stand and it just kind of holds my blow dryer there and I kind of just like stand from a distance and I comb it um, while it's blow drying. So this is what my hair is looking like. Um, Y'all can see it's not as thin as it looked before. Um, this is what it naturally looks like. Yeah, y'all see that wisdom in there all up and through there. And, uh, if I would, if I were to wear my hair out, <laughs> this is how I would wear it. I don't put, I haven't put a flat iron on my hair in a couple years now. It's been almost two and a half or three years that I've put a flat iron on my hair. Um, so this is what it's, let me back up some, let me just back up, okay? So my hair is like here. I don't be wanting to pull thin ends down and be like, ooh, my hair way down here. No, it's not. It's just not. Um, I'm going to turn around and show y'all what it's look, looking like in the back. Um, as far as my thin spots goes, I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all see any, like, bald spots in there. Because I can't see right now uh, what's going on. So, I'm going to part it for you. See how it look to y'all. I'll look back at the video later and see. Because I did have um, bald spots from my hair breaking off, you know. But... Hopefully they filled in, you know. This part of my hair right here at the top was the worst as far as the shedding. I don't want to say my hair was shedding because it wasn't. No, yeah, my hair was shedding. I don't want to say it was breaking because it wasn't breaking off. It was completely shedding from my scalp. And I had a lot of baldness up in here. I actually had bald spots up in here. Um... A lot. This was like the worst area, but I don't know how much of that you can see. Let me see if I can zoom in close. Let's see if I can zoom in closer and show y'all. Like, hold on. I probably can't do it. I'm trying. It's like spots in my hair is short. See that? See that? Okay, see like right there? It's like short hair. <laughs> and that was a bald spot. And my hair has grown back like that much right there. Probably like that much. Um, It was pretty much bald right here. <sighs> y'all, I didn't come on camera when my hair was balding. Because I, y'all, I just couldn't at the time. I was going through a lot. So, this is the aftermath. Because I don't want y'all to be like, oh, oh, you lying, your hair wasn't bald. But, yeah, it was It was a lot of bald, baldness going on up in there. So, this is what I'm working with right now. So, what y'all think? What y'all think of my hair? Let me, tell me what y'all think. But this is it. Um, is it like sickly thin or is it like way too thin and do I need to like chop it off some because I'm not doing no big chop I don't care how y'all feel about that part because it's not going to be a big chop the only way I do a big chop is if I have to I, you know I have to um, my hair is text like so you're going to see a lot of fullness here because it's not a bone straight relaxed I did not bone straight my hair you know, I left it in for about 12 minutes total um, from the time I 
put some relax on it till the time I took it out. I let it sit. I mashed it around a little bit. And then when it got to where I feel like, okay, that's enough, I put my head under water. And that was it. So, anyways, y'all, this is it. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.